Well, that's just prime. What's going on YouTube? Chamber Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review. And in today's video, I'll be taking a look at the new Transformers Kingdom Voyager class, Optimus Primal. Now taking a look at this now, taking a look at the packaging for Primal himself, let's go ahead and bring it in to take a closer look. We've got a nice, beautiful box art depiction of Primal in his gorilla mode and in his robot mode, and I've got to say that looks absolutely fantastic. It says he's a Voyager class. The box art that they have been uh, drawing and making for these new Kingdom packages looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, that is incredible looking, but we got Kingdom, Transformers, we've got the clear windows so we can see the display of the figure, Optimus Primal. Here on the top, we've got a Maximal emblem. Here on the bottom, it's just warnings and stuff. Here on the side, we've got that Kingdom box art that we're seeing on all the uh, boxes here on the side. All of our different Transformers and Kingdom characters coming around to the back of the box here. We can see a Maximal emblem right here in the corner. I really like that sort of cave drawing kind of look to it. But uh, we got Optimus Primal in his robot mode, his gorilla mode, and it says that he converts in 22 steps. So overall, packaging is really nice. Now taking a look at Primal's accessories, starting off with, we're going to look at his collector's card that he comes with. This is the Autobot Arc. We can see Transformers Kingdom, all the nice shiny stuff going on here. It looks really cool. Golden disc on the back, um, but very, very nice. Let's go ahead and peel. I have not actually looked at the card itself, but we can see Autobot Arc 1984, and we can see it's crash landed there on Earth. Very nice collector's card. I really am digging these new cards. Very, very nice in a cool little uh, bonus. Let me try to get all the air bubbles out from the uh, from putting the sticker back on. That's the only downside to these cards is that whenever you peel the sticker, you have to be really careful with it. But just getting the air bubbles out real quick. There we have the collector's card. Now, he does come with his instruction manual, which... Very nice, very clear, very well done. Really like these new instruction manuals. And he does come with a warning sheet. Hooray for warning sheets! And he does come with a couple of swords that we saw him wield in the Beast Wars cartoon. And these have been done very nicely. Um, they've been casted in a blue plastic and painted this more metallic, silverish, whitish um, for color for the blade. Um, the only That's the only real like thing I don't like about the swords is that they are nicely painted and they don't look terrible I just want to prefer this to be more of like a silver silver than this color that they've chosen here but it is still a more of a metallic cover and it looks really good and the detail has been picked out very nicely as we can see here excuse my shaky hands but very nice detailing and sculpting so there we have that and here we have Optimus Primal in his gorilla mode. And the gorilla mode for this guy looks absolutely fantastic. This is a very realistic looking gorilla. Just giving you a quick 360 spin around view of the figure. No, he's not perfect. He definitely does have a little bit of kibble there in the back and a little bit of exposed robot um, paint. But overall, this is a great looking gorilla mode. Um, the sculpting and detailing in the paint has been done really nicely now there isn't a whole lot of paint in gorilla mode as we can see it's just a lot of this um fur detailing and whatnot which has been a majority of it has been casted in a black plastic except for the fur on the fists here but just bringing the figure in to take a good look at that head sculpt we can see here that this is incredibly realistic looking head sculpt um we can just see the nice detailing and whatnot of the gorilla head and they have painted the eyes very nicely with some nice brown paint and some black pupils very very nice they have added some paint for the chest here these sides uh, the sides of the chest here have been painted this is a gray um just a solid gray piece of plastic but still very nicely detailed and whatnot there is some paint here on the fist as i mentioned overall looks really good in gorilla mode um the feet have been nicely molded and detailed we even got some more paint for the fur there on the feet very very nice but overall gorilla mode for this figure looks absolutely fantastic now, the articulation for Gorilla Mode isn't all that bad. Starting here at the head, the head is on a hinge, so he can look down and can look up. 
and it can get some side to side a swivel so to speak it is at a certain angle just due to the transformation um, you do have a actual side to side joint so you can have them as you can see looking to the side there so head has a ton of articulation arms can move outward like so and then there is a hinge here which allows you to get some more articulation there um there is a bicep swivel but due to how he transforms in the robot mode and everything it does expose some robot mode paint for the biceps but uh it is there if you need to use it arms can bend to a nice degree as we can see a good degree of motion there and the fists are on 360 swivels and they do have a knuckle articulation, which is very, very nice. So you can definitely pull off some good poses there. The legs, unfortunately, are not as articulated within the stance. Um, there is a second stance that you can use to have a more stand up, more stood up and postured up. But we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Um, you do have a hinge here at the leg and you can get some outward movement, but that kind of breaks the illusion of gorilla mode. And there is some toe articulation but that is for robot mode i'll get into that here in a little bit so the legs are more stationary at the back here in this mode but overall the gorilla mode for optimus primal that we have ended up with is fantastic and for size comparison let's bring in deluxe class cheetor as we can see how these two we can see how these two scale side by side and they look pretty good together but there's your scale for a deluxe class and for the size comparison everyone's been waiting for, let's bring in the new Transformers Kingdom Leader Class Megatron. And as we can see, Megatron dwarfs Optimus Primal in T-Rex mode. But I think they look good side by side. We have our two faction leaders, Megatron, leader of the Predacons, and Optimus Primal, leader of the Maximals. And I think they look really good side by side. But that's it for size comparisons. Now there is a difference. There is a different stance you can put Optimus Primal in to get him stood up in Gorilla Mode, and it is listed in the in the instructions. So I am going to go over it real quick. Um, but basically, to do that, you're going to straighten out the Gorilla legs here, and we're just going to fold these panels out of the way. So what we're going to do is take the leg assembly here, and there is a tab. It will tab into this section right here. Um, you're just going to untab that and swivel it up, and that's really all there is to do. So we're going to do that on both sides. Just take the leg and double hinge it up like so, and fold everything back down. Take the gorilla arms and just get them situated and whatnot. And just like so, here we have Optimus Primal stood up. And it doesn't look that bad, uh, definitely doesn't look the best, but it's definitely a nice option. They didn't have to include this for the Gorilla Mode, but they did anyway, so I am happy that they did. And also it gives you some more articulation in the Robot Mode, but we'll go over that later. But bringing Megatron back into view, we can see that Optimus Primal scales a little bit better now with his rival. And yeah, these two look good together. Like I mentioned, they look pretty good. Um, but bringing Megatron out of view, let's bring in Cheetor, we can see. So, there's your scale with the Deluxe Class figure. Now let's go over the transformation. Now going over the transformation from the Gorilla Stood Up mode, um, it is pretty easy. What you're going to want to do is we're going to start off here at the feet and we're just going to double hinge this back into place and tab this tab right here back into the knee. And if you already have them on all fours, you won't need to worry about this step. But since I have them already in this stood up position, uh, you're going to need to do that. But take the feet fold them down and they will snap into place like so and then take this panel here fold it up like so take this panel here fold it up we're going to want to open up this section right here untab it and then take this whole section here and pull it up take the gorilla head swing it and swivel it around and then collapse it back into place now there are two shorter cannons right here oh i'm so sorry camera fellow focus there is a shorter cannon right here and right here but we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get into the robot mode i'm gonna take this whole assembly here with the head component and push that and swivel it around like so 
take the chest piece here and flip it around to give us the robot mode chest. Then we can take this whole assembly here and collapse it down into place like so. Take the shorter pads here and fold them up like so. And then take this section here, fold it up. And there is a tab right here that'll tab into this tab hole like so. And then just rotate the waist around and situate everything. Then we can take this panel here and fold it back like so. So after all that, get him straightened out and get him into a good pose. Here we have Voyager class Optimus Primal in his fantastic looking robot mode. And Optimus Primal in his robot mode looks amazing. This is the best mainline version of Optimus Primal we will ever get. And I am... I honestly think this is better than the Masterpiece in some ways. Honestly, I like this figure over the Masterpiece version. I do not own the Masterpiece version, but even if I did, I would still probably like this figure better. As we can see here, Robot Mode, as I've mentioned, looks amazing. What they have managed to pull off at a Voyager class price point and a Voyager class size is just fantastic. There's barely no kibble. I mean, there is a little bit of backpack here, but... I mean, it's not that bad. And just the overall robot mode and the articulation, the sculpting, we'll go over all the good stuff. There are some negatives I do have with this figure, and I'll get into that here in a little bit. But just the overall look of this robot mode is amazing. Going over the details, starting at the feet. The feet have been molded and detailed very nicely and been casted in this nice blue plastic. And then we do have some nice red paint for the hydraulics here at the shins and the shins have that nice gorilla uh fur sculpting and detail the thighs have been painted just it's all painted and it looks absolutely fantastic and it has some nice mechanical detail now that is one of my gripes about this figure this figure has been painted exceptionally well but that leaves room for paint chipping especially given the way the transformation works on this figure I've seen early reviews and stuff of this figure, and everyone has been warning that you need to be careful with the inside of the thighs here. As soon as I got this figure out of the box, I was like, all right, got to be careful. That is prone to chipping. I transformed them into grill mode, got them back, and the paint chipped. I really don't know how to tell you to remedy that. I, I really don't. Um, maybe if you had some paint sealer you could put on it, but I mean, outside of that, there's it is going to chip at some point in time unless you are beyond careful and even then it still might chip because i was making sure i wasn't really trying to rub the joint the wrong way and make sure it wasn't rubbing in to the rest of the body here but it's still chipped on both thighs which i mean it's not the worst case of paint chipping but it is definitely um a point of concern but it doesn't look too terribly bad, but I wanted to point that out in case you plan on picking up this figure, which you should, it's an amazing figure, but I wanted to point that out. You might be able to put some paint sealer and or paint protector on there, but I would just be careful of that. In my opinion, it is eventually going to chip. That's just something for you to be aware of, but the torso, the lower torso here has been beautifully painted with some nice metallic blue and some nice silver they are for the lower torso. The chest here has been painted just, it's got a lot of nice metallic blue and just fantastic sculpting and detailing. It looks fantastic. The arms here, the biceps do have some paint. Same story with the paint chipping due to the fact that these shoulder pads go down over it. It does want to chip some of the paint. There's, I really can't think of a whole lot to work around that issue, but talking about the head sculpt. Do, 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 bring my camera up. The head sculpt that we have ended up with for Optimus Primal here is fantastic. That's all I can really say about the head sculpt. It's spot on. It's 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 a perfect Optimus Primal head sculpt. The sculpting in detail, the nice paint looks absolutely fantastic going over what paint is on the face we got that nice white paint for the face mask or the battle plate on his face or the battle mask we got some nice silver here for the 
um, antenna, so to speak, on the side. We got some nice silver for the crest and some nice red painted eyes. Just the head sculpt is overall fantastic. Coming around to the back here, we can see that the sculpting and detailing continues. There's not a whole lot going on with the back of the figure, but as we can see here, the robot mode is just amazing looking. Again, I do have my issues with the paint chipping. There's not a whole lot you can really do about that. But in terms of issues I have with the figure aside from paint is the gap here at the chest. Unfortunately, due to how the transformation works, there wasn't really a way to fill this gap. And I get how the transformation works. Like you have to be able to tuck the gorilla head into the chest. You couldn't push the chest in. There's nothing they could have really done. So, I mean, for me, it's not a huge issue. But it is something to be aware of that there is this gap there and here on the bottom. But, I mean, it's not that bad. I can live with it. But overall, robot mode for Optimus Primal here is just amazing. Now, going over some of the features of Optimus Primal within robot mode, starting here at the arms. If you come to the underside here, there's a little button, so to speak, you can press. And then pressing that button will actually deploy a arm cannon. This is something they didn't have to include. This is a $30 Voyager. This is something they could have just said, no, we're not going to do that. This is literally a feature the Masterpiece figure has and something they did not have to include. And it even has a little bit of articulation. And they included it on both arms. <laughs> I'm shocked. This looks, I mean, it looks fantastic, but this is literally a feature they did not have to include at all and it doesn't stop there if you come to the back here and halfway transform it take the headpiece and pull that up like you were going into gorilla mode there are shoulder cannons if i can get the other one to go there we go all right got it but folding all this back into place we can see he even has deployable shoulder cannons which have been molded and detailed very very nicely we can see nice blue and the detailing on this is absolutely fantastic so he's got two arm guns two shoulder cannons and then he comes with two swords they did not have to include any of these guns but they did and i appreciate that so much it adds so much to the figure it allows you to do more posing options it allows for stop motion animators it allows them to do more with that for just general display, it adds a lot. It adds so much to the figure, and it's literally something the Masterpiece figure has that they did not have to include with this figure at all. They could have just said, nah, we'll scrap it, and, you know, it'll be what it is. And a lot of fans would be happy with the figure as a whole, but they pushed to get us that more amazing figure with these canon features. I really like this feature. I think it's really cool. Again, it's something they did not have to do, but they did it anyway, and I'm super thankful that they did because it just adds so much more to the figure as a whole. I think that this is a really, really nice feature, and again, something they did not have to include, but it adds so much to the figure and it's a really, really cool feature I just wanted to point out. Um, he can hold his swords within robot mode, taking the fist and opening it up. That You can add his swords in just like so. I believe you can add them in without opening the fists. But, um, or he can resist. Come on. Uh, but just adding in the fists, or adding, yeah, adding in the fists, yeah. Um, adding on the swords we can see he looks absolutely fantastic holding these and uh, if you don't want him displayed in robot mode and you don't want to throw him off to the side in your little plastic bag full of accessories you do have a tab right here and a tab hole right of course my camera wants to fall out of focus right here just take that plug it into place and then you can store the swords, which is an awesome feature. So overall, features in robot mode are absolutely fantastic. You get two arm guns, two shorter cannons, and two amazing looking swords. Now going over the articulation of Optimus Primal, starting down here at now going over the articulation of Optimus Primal, starting here at the head, the head is on a ball joint so he can look up, can not really look down unfortunately, but he can 
look full 360 like so arms full 360 get outward movement that is very very tight on my copy bicep swivel elbow articulation well over 90 degrees wrist swivel and the knuckles can open and close you do have a butterfly joint here at the shoulder which allows you to get a little bit more range of movement on both sides he does have waist articulation which does rotate full 360 degrees uh, the instructions tell you to fold this panel up but whenever you use a waist articulation you're going to want to fold that down but you do have 360 waist swivel you do have forward movement and whoops backward movement here at the legs a hinge for outward movement and you do have a thigh swivel just be careful of paint chipping i talked about that earlier he does have a nice degree of movement at the knee but let's say you want more you can use that hinge from gorilla mode and untab that and get a little bit more movement there for whatever reason the shin rotates it's there if you want to use it. I'm not sure why it's there. And then you do have some ankle articulation. And if you untab the foot from its little pegging point, because whenever you transform it, you can hear this click. So if you untab that, you do get toe articulation. And a and something I wasn't really expecting, and I talked about this while in Gorilla Mode, the Gorilla feet here angled downward. And I couldn't really figure out why they did that in Gorilla Mode, because they don't angle up and then i got to trying to pose this figure around and i noticed he was having a little bit of issue standing up and i was like oh wait he has heels that can point down so they have added in an extra hinge to help with the overall stability of the figure by using the gorilla feet that's a fantastic feature that it, that's just a fantastic feature <laughs> it it really does help with posing because if you're having a hard time getting this figure to stand you just fold the ankles down, or not the ankles, the feet or the heels back some, and it adds that little bit more stability to the robot mode. Definitely a nice feature to help with posing the figure as a whole. And for robot mode size comparisons, here is Deluxe Class Cheetor. So we can see how Cheetor scales next to Primal. We can see that Primal is definitely a shorter Voyager class figure. That is another drawback I have about this figure, but it's not a deal breaker. Definitely not a deal breaker. Definitely not, because this figure is still fantastic. He just is a little bit shorter to be a Voyager class figure. But as we can see, there's a scale with Cheetor. And let's bring in the size comparison that we have all been waiting for. Megatron next to Primal. And we can see that Megatron definitely does tower over Optimus Primal. But these two do look really good side by side. I think they look really good. Again, Primal is a shorter Voyager. I would have liked him if he was a little bit, just that little bit taller. But, you know, it is what it is. There's nothing you can really do about that. But as we can see, our two uh, Predacon and Maximal faction leaders side by side look absolutely fantastic. So there you have size comparisons. So overall, what are my official thoughts and opinions about Transformers Kingdom Voyager class Optimus Primal? He is a fantastic figure. Do I recommend him? Yeah. He's got a few flaws, yes, I'll admit. The paint chipping issue, that's a bit of a problem. I wish they would have found at least a way to try to prevent that. There's Just given the way in the design of the figure, I really don't think they could have worked around that though. But... I mean, aside from the paint chipping issue and the size of the figure, I wish he was a little bit taller. And uh, again, I mentioned this earlier, the gap here on the chest, there's nothing you can really do about that. But I mean, if you set aside those three minor complaints, this is a fantastic figure. I think this is the best Optimus Primal figure we will ever get. And I honestly think this is better than the Masterpiece figure. It probably I, I don't own the Masterpiece figure, but this figure looks fantastic. He's only $30. He's got all the bells and whistles that the Masterpiece figure does, aside from the interchangeable faceplates in Gorilla Mode and in Robot Mode. And he just looks fantastic. He's fun to play with. He has a cool transformation. While it's not overly involved and complex, it does have some neat tricks to it, like when you spin the head around to get the Gorilla Head, and you tuck the Robot Mode head into the chest for the Gorilla Mode. Just 
cool stuff like that and then like i mentioned you have all the cool guns and stuff that deploy just overall this figure is fantastic do i recommend him yes should you get him yes is that all you need to know yeah well guys that's all for me i hope you enjoyed if so be sure to leave a like comment what you think of kingdom optimus primal in the comment section below and be to and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel that's all for me chamber productions signing off